Hey guys, Stacy and I are here to show you a great quick 15 minute Pilates workout. So there's no excuses. There's no reason why you can't just pop out of bed, do a quick 15 minutes before you start your day or before you go to bed, lunch break. It's very user friendly. So we're just gonna take some of the nitty gritty basic exercises of Pilates and go right through them. These are kind of the staples, the, the important exercises that you'll go through. So from here, shoulders go down and away from your ears, separate your legs the width of the mat, zip them back together, heels are together, toes fall open. Now, on your next exhale, after you've established that core connection, drag your heels into your bottom, hug your knees all the way into your chest, nice and tight. Good, so this is a great way to release your lower back. And you can kind of just rock side to side, whatever works the kinks out. Starting with the hundred, the arms go down by your sides, head, neck, and shoulders come up. So she's really peeling over that top rib. Legs go straight out, heels together, toes apart. Soften your knees a little bit, yep, and start pumping. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, long, strong arms. Inhale. Now exhale, really squeeze your heels together so she's not letting me through here. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Good, inhale. Exhale, let's do two more. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Last inhale. Exhale. Drag your knees back in, head goes down. All right, there's your warm up. Now working through modified roll ups. Place your feet flat on the mat, feet come together. So with these, and you're gonna walk your feet out just a little bit more, you only wanna come as high up as your feet will not pop up off the mat or floor at home. So if you do feel like they keep popping up, you can use a strap or say your couch cushions at home. However, don't use it to just pull your body and fling it back and forth. It's just there as an assistant. So I'm gonna spot Stacy here. Take a deep breath in, exhale, walk your hands up the backs of your legs, peel over your waistband, curl, keep coming up, and roll it back down. So this really forces you to work that lower band of muscles that we all skip over. So I have big honking athletes that come in here and they can't even get up on one because it's easy to just do sit-ups, you know, fast flinging your body. All right, let's do it again. Take a deep breath, exhale, curl. Stacy hardly even needs my hands here at all. Also, if you're pretty tight in your back, which Stacy's tight in her mid back, it's a little bit harder to get over that spot where we all get stuck. Roll it back down long. Take a deep breath, head comes up first. Curl forward, roll, and roll it back down long. So especially if you're doing this workout in the morning, your body tends to be stiffer. You can always take a couple more plain ones here just to kind of warm your back up, get yourself moving. Roll it back down long. Now this one, let's add a variation. I want you to take a full eight count to come up. So a lot of times we skip over that really hard part in the middle. Head comes up first on one, two, three, four, slow it down, five, six, seven, Eight, perfect. Now arms reach out in front of you. So restack your spine, sitting up nice and tall. Look at all that great length you get. Oh, it's so good to get space between your vertebrae. Now creating that two-way stretch, she's gonna drag me down with her. So just like someone sucked you in the stomach, roll it back. She's pulling me down from her stomach as I try to pull the opposite way. There's your two-way stretch. One more time like that. Head peaks up on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight, sit up tall. Now this time we're gonna do a different variation. She's gonna sit up tall. Exhale, roll it back just a third to half of the way, right in that spot where your stomach kicks in and hold, okay. Arms lift up a couple inches and lower a couple inches. Lift, so this is that whole family of we're teaching your arms to move from your core. Two more. Last one, hold, come back up through center. Good, restack your spine, get a nice deep breath, get some space. Exhale, roll it back a third of the way, hold it there. Now from here, draw little circles with your arms. Five, four, so it doesn't really look like she's doing much, but you'll notice at home that your stomach really takes the brunt of it. Good, after, yep, three more in this direction. Come back up through center. Last one all together. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, roll back, scoop under, pause, okay. Arms open out a little bit and then in a little bit. So this is really at your own liberty. If you can go nice and wide and still keep your ribs connected, then by all means, have at it. 
only go as big, those you're not just totally losing it. Come back together last time, open and together, and then come back up. Very nice, okay. Roll your body all the way down, peel back. Arms go down by your sides, legs go long. Right knee hugs into your chest, we'll go through single leg circles. So this is a good way to open up your hips a little bit, str actually strengthen the stability muscles around those inner and outer thighs and work your stomach. Leg goes up, we'll just do three in each direction. Leg goes up, across, all the way around to center. Good, up, across, down and around, last up, across, down, stop up top, reverse, up, out, down and across, up, out, down, one more here. Stacy's doing a really good job of keeping these hip bones nice and bolted into the mat. Hug your knee back into your body and send that leg long, pull your left knee in, send it up. All right, from here, leg goes up, across, all the way around. The breathing here does help. If you think about inhaling as the leg goes down, exhale, pull around center because that's where your stomach pulls in and she'll reverse. Up, out, down and across. Up, out, down and across. Last, up, out, down. Hug your knee back into the body nice and tight and then pull the other knee in to meet it. So getting into the core group of exercises here, series of five. These are five abdominal exercises with active stretching. So first, single leg stretch, right hand, right ankle, left hand, right knee, left leg goes out accordingly. So here are the rules with legs up in the air. 90 degrees is easiest. As her leg travels away, it gets harder, so she's pretty strong, she's gonna challenge herself. But once that low back pops off the mat, you've lost it. So go ahead and switch back and forth, good. Two and two, like you're shooting a bow and arrow, working your center line. So why we're picky about the hands here, you know, you always hear outside hand, is when you do the reverse, it tends to tweak you out of alignment. So she's keeping everything nice and tight to her midline. Two more sets, and everything pulls back into your chest, head goes down. You can always look side to side in between each if you have any kind of stiff neck stuff going on. Next one, double leg stretch. Her hands start on top of her shin. So we're gonna do a practice round first before I make her bring her head up. The motion is arms and legs go up. So she's pretty strong. I'm gonna let her challenge herself with her legs. Now when her arms go back though, I don't want those ribs going with her. So at home I would probably, if this is your first few times, I would recommend keeping your arms right around here. Arms circle around and then she ends up pulling your knees back in. Okay. Now, unfortunately, you do have to bring your head up. All right, inhale, arms and legs up. Exhale, pull everything back into the body, good. Inhale, open. Exhale, drag your knees in. Inhale, open. Exhale, resisting your tailbone. Inhale, exhale. She's doing a great job keeping ribs and tailbone down. Let's do four more. Tight little ball shape. The breathing does help on this one. Two more. Pull around. Last one, reach around and hug your knees back and head goes down. Good. Okay, we're getting there. Two uh, legs go straight up to the ceiling. This one is an active hamstring stretch. The first two were for your hip flexors. Both legs, or left leg, excuse me, floats away. Both hands grab onto your right calf or ankle. Whatever you have for flexibility is okay. Forehead comes towards your knee. Now, the key here is you want these legs to be as straight as you possibly can. Two pulls towards that forehead. Pull, pull, and change. Pull, pull, and change. Pull, pull, stretch, stretch. Pull, pull, stretch, stretch. So the second effort is where you'll really feel that length through the back side of your leg. Stretch, stretch. And Stacy's pretty strong here. So at home, you know, as a modified, you'd want to just keep your feet a lot closer together. She's giving us a pretty big split here. You can always make it smaller. Pull, pull, one more set. Forehead curls into her knee. This really kicks you in the tummy, and then knees come back into your chest. Good. Two more to go. Hands go behind your head, elbows are wide. Double straight leg stretch, legs go up. So what tends to happen here, especially if you are pretty athletic or cross-trained, is that your quads are gonna be much stronger than your stomach, because they're bigger. So we wanna stay out of those. The way you do that is heels together, toes apart, and then when she softens her knees right through here, the, the thighs get much softer so she's not just gripping like crazy. All right, shoulders come up as high as you can, and we're just gonna keep these really basic. Three count down, three count up. Go at your own range of motion. It might be two inches, it might be practically to the mat. Legs lower down, two, three, up, two, three. Lower with control, lift with control, good. 
lower. So things to look out for. When she, her heels tap my hand, they feel light as a feather. If your legs feel shaky and they're heavy going up and down like a ton of bricks, that means you're using the wrong muscles. And all you have to do is just reduce your range of motion and slightly bend your knees. Last time, lower and lift and then hug your knees back into the body. Stretch. Okay, last one in the series, crisscross. So this really gets into your obliques. Hands go behind your head. Twisting her left elbow towards your right knee. So what I'm looking for here while we hold it is that she's really twisting. This elbow is coming towards her knee. Her back elbow goes back and change. Twist and hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Twist and change. Hold, two, three, four, five, twist and hold. So she's getting this nice activation all through this little side through here. Change, hold, slower is harder. Change, hold, for those of you guys who are used to just bicep crunches at home. Now we will do some singles here, so just move back and forth at a nice easy pace, but keep the form. Excellent. Two, two, three, three, four, five, six, Two more sets, seven, eight, and eight, relax. Good, excellent. So by the end of those five exercises, your stomach should feel pretty fatigued. If it doesn't, it's a good opportunity to start increasing your range of motion. If all you're doing is hurting other things like your back or your legs hurt, you gotta rein it in a little bit. Okay, let's kind of balance out the workout before we wrap it up and flip over onto your stomach for a forearm plank. Planks are a great thing to strengthen your whole body. It works your front, your back, uh, works through your shoulders, which is nice. So she's going to make two strong fists and tuck her elbows underneath. That activates your triceps, so we get some nice arm work going. Heels together, toes apart, up on your tiptoes. Okay, Pilates stance. So what I'm looking for here is that she's this nice straight line. The two things that I see happen a lot with people is their bottoms start to stick up, which doesn't work, or they start to dip down and that just hurts and not in a good way. So we wanna give her lots of back support and let's just hold it here for 30 seconds. So if you need to take breaks at home during this 30 seconds, then you'll just softly bend your knees down and that's fine. Otherwise, staying up, hold it here. And then for an additional challenge, let's add a right foot lifting off the mat for five seconds, four seconds, three, two, one, change, five, four, three, two, one, change. Now what I'm looking for is that her hips stay level, change feet last time, five, four, three, two, one, and then kneel down, sit back on your heels like a child's pose and stretch it forward. So that is a great 15 minute workout that you can do anywhere, any place. All you need is a mat or even if you're pressed, you can throw a towel down and incorporate it into your day. Shoulders go down. Awesome job, Stace. Thank you.